precisa Hello everybody, on this video I am going to show you five awesome Visual Studio Code extensions and one theme that I really use, that I, really, that, that I just love using because it looks awesome. Uh, these extensions are my favorite ones and let's get right into it. The first one is called REST Client. REST Client is a super cool extension because I work on projects where I need to test stuff like get and post. I need to test the stuff like APIs and I need to, like I, I build REST APIs and I wanna know what's happening with my API and I wanna be able to test it with JWT and blah, blah, blah. Now, usually what we do is that we have Postman or some other extension that helps us be making a REST client. Now what this does, REST client, this extension, what this does is that it makes, it makes your VS code, it turns it into a REST client. And it's super, super cool. So all you have to do is create an HTTP file like this, that HTTP, all right, on your, on your, any file on your project. I have an example project here. And all you have to do is just type, for example, get, get, and it will be HTTP, whoop, S, let's do google.com, for example. And as you can see here, it's telling you send request. Look at that here, send request, and you click, and it will send a request and it works perfectly. In this case, I just got HTML. Yeah, I just got HTML and it's working. Also, you could, if you wanted to, you could have maybe a post and you can do HTTPS and we can post so, uh, I don't know, google.com and maybe you can do authorization. And maybe here it could be your, your JWT token, can be here and the data would be hello, love and you can say here that content type whoa content type can be uh application json for example all right and just like that you are sending a post request with an authorization header and with a content type and with there we send request i think we're gonna get a 41 method not allowed which is all right, but as you can see, it's fucking working and it's awesome. So that's the first one, REST client. There is nothing I use more when I'm making an API than this. I don't use Postman, I don't use anything anymore. I just use this thing. This is really, really cool. All right, the next one is called Waka Time. Waka Time, it's just a thing that you install in your computer, on an extension, and it shows up here, it's a clock. And what Waka Time does, is that it gives you a dashboard um, of what you're working on and your productivity and all that stuff. So for example, here it tells me that this month I worked on JavaScript, Markdown, Poke, JSON, SCSS, JSX, HTML, and other, you see? TypeScript, blah, blah, blah. And it tells you what products are you working on. For example, I'm working in CodeKids for two hours, Karakoi for 10 hours, and Fita for 10 hours, which is awesome. It tells you also the repositories and everything. It tracks everything for you. You don't have to do anything. Also look at that. Today I decreased because I woke up late. Super cool. So this is uh, Waka Time. It's just, it spies on you. You don't have to do anything. You just install it and it will spy on you and it will tell you, all right, Nicholas is working on whatever. That is Waka Time. Super, super cool. All right, the next one, let's call this one, is called Polar Code. Polar Code is something super sweet. Um, I don't use it that much, but you can use it if you want. Like, I just like it. I just don't use it because I don't write that much about code. But basically, when you install Polar Code, you can go to your command palette here, and you can type Polar Code. Now, what Polar Code does is that it gives you a view like this. And for example, I am going to, uh, let's say this. If you're making a blog post or if you wanna do something on GitHub or if you wanna make a tutorial or whatever, all you have to do is, for example, just copy this. I'm just copying this text, copy. And you come here and you paste it. And it just puts it into this very nice window. The color looks great. It puts a nice window with a shadow. And then if you want to, you can just save this when you click on this and you can save it on your desktop. So if we go to our desktop, to my desktop, desktop, there it is. And it's a pretty good image 
that you can use if you wanna make like a blog post or if you wanna just show people your code rather than copy pasting, you can just make it like that. And it looks fucking pretty. That is Polacode, super simple to use. And I think super useful as well, great. Next one on the list is Visual Studio Live Share. Um, this one is pretty simple and I cannot make a, like a test project, but it's pretty simple. You just install it. And if you want to, you can just do Live Share here which you will sign in in whatever. And what this does is does is that this lets you connect to another person's um, computer. So for example, here, as you can see, I'm starting a collaboration session, whatever. And I can just copy this, right? I can copy this, I will give it to you. And for as long as I have my Visual Studio code open, you can come and you can edit my files if you want, which is something awesome. I use this sometimes to help my students and I also use it when I wanna work with other people. It's pretty, pretty cool. And it's pretty nice to be able to like look at other people's code and also if they let you, you can run commands on their console and everything. So it's really cool if you gotta do like support or something like that. I use it to support the students. That is it. And I think we're done. That's it. Oh no, the other one, Markdown all in one. I use Markdown because I work with GitHub and in GitHub you have to write readmes like this, right? So Markdown all in one is super cool because it allows you to do a nice preview of your files. Uh, open preview here. And what you can do is that you can just write stuff over here. And it's just, it's just super cool. Like it, it just gives you a very nice fucking preview of whatever you're writing. Uh, and I just really, really like it. Um, yeah, so that's, that's the other one. That's the last one. I think this one is good when you work on teams and you don't wanna fuck up on your, um, on your markdown abilities. And before you push, you can just see a preview over here. Of course, this thing has even more stuff. Um, Markdown. There is many stuff. Call, talk, span, refresh, preview, print current document to HTML on the side, toggle on order list. Like there's a lot of commands and it's cool. But the one I use more is that one. The preview on the side is just cool as fuck. All right, my people. So I will see you on the next one, I think. Oh no, before that, I forgot. The last one, the team. Many people ask me what team do I use? The one I use is called material team. All right, material team comes with many shades. I use the third one. You can configure that one, it's very simple. All you have to do is come here. Uh, I think it's color team. And it says material team, darker, darker high contrast, ocean, palette night, what is this? Oh, Jesus, no. Anyways, there are many. And you can just fuck around with them. The one I really like, I like the most is the default, I think. This one, that's mine. Okay, you can feel free to fuck around and it also comes with very nice icons. As you can see here, John has an icon, readme has an icon, Jason has an icon, ESLint, Git, JS. It's pretty cool. All right, my people, that's it for this video. Let me know if you like it. Let me know which other extensions I should use. Uh, thank you for watching and leave a like, leave a comment. If you like the video, subscribe. If you didn't like the video, subscribe. Share this with your friends, family, everybody. Enjoy your life, eat the kimchi and stay awesome. Bye-bye.